Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for all of his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael and I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today in our Great Exodus series we talk about love and unity. Have you not heard that we should walk in unity, that we should come together in assemblies of love and righteousness? What are you doing then in the world? You come together in a church for one hour, one and a half hours. And then you go home and sit alone in your houses, at your, in your careers, in your luxuries, and in your properties. You are called forth to be in unity, in love, unity and support, in sacred assemblies of the Father. You may ask, how do these assemblies look like? Just open the Bible, go to the book of Acts, and then you see what a sacred assembly of the Lord, of Yahweh, looks like. They came together in love, unity and support. They shared their resources. They sold everything in excess and gave it to the apostles, so that everybody who was in need could receive something. They were all equal and they were all on the same level. Love is very important. Not only the love of the Father for all of the children in the world, but especially also the brotherly love that Jesus taught us. The love for one another. But I do not see any love in this world. What I see is fighting, backstabbing, calling other witches or wizards or bad people or spreading false doctrines. And this comes mostly from the people who are on the false doctrines by themselves. Either they follow hypergrace, or they follow the gospel of prosperity, or they follow the gospel of poverty. All is wrong. Important is only one thing in all of the Father's kingdom, and that is to harvest one thing only, souls. To bring as many people to righteousness as possible. And nothing else counts, not your own way that you will be under salvation and that you are rescued yourself, no. You should go forth and bring as many people to righteousness as possible. Not a selfish act, but a selfless act. Unconditional love for all the people in the world. Do you have that? Do you have unconditional love for somebody who has erred and is on the path in Islamic faith or who is a Buddhist or Hindu or who follows tarot or any of the spiritual things? Do you have unconditional love for these people or are you one of this one filled with a religious spirit and says only my way is the right one, only my way is the correct one? and I reject all the other people, and all the other people will go to hell. This is not love of the Father. This is self-elevation and self-righteousness. Yes, of course, as we read in the book of Revelation, we see that judgment comes, but as the Father says, judgment is mine. It is not ours to proclaim judgments, or punishment, or anything over somebody. Because we cannot what do what the Father do can do. The Father will judge your heart. Can you judge the heart of your neighbor? You cannot. But if you assume that you can, then you are gravely mistaken. So unconditional love is very important towards all people in the world. Do never forget that the Father will not leave any of his ch children behind. No lost sheep. If 99 are rescued, but one is still missing, he will leave the 99 behind and will go and look for the one lost sheep. So don't come and tell me stories that only this and this people will be rescued and the other will all burn in hell. No. It is our work. It is your work. It is your destiny to go forth as to bring as many people to righteousness as possible. Not with a religious doctrine, not with converting to this or that religion. No, by being an example, showing forth the love of the Father to the nation, that the people will come and see, look at this person, he is so good. 
Why is he so good? Because he is a child of the living God. He is a true son or daughter of the Most High. This is what it means to bring forth love into the nation. Not what you are, uh, receive as an indoctrination in your conferences and on YouTube, where the people say, oh, you have to do this one or you go to hell, or you have to do that one, you go to hell. Judgment is for the Father, not for you. So stay away from something like this and stay away from these channels who promote this. Because these are all false doctrines. Love and unity is required. Calamities will come and strike this earth. What will you do when you sit alone as in your high career position and calamity will strike? Then you will die alone. Because there will be nobody who will help you. But if you are in unity and an assembly of love and righteousness, then many other people can help you and support you and bring you back on your way because not all will be affected from the calamities. Or if even a whole society of the rose and assembly of righteousness will be affected by a calamity, then there are so many other societies of the rose that will not be affected. And they can come and help and provide for you so that you can come up. So we are under the wings of the Father, under the protection, in a big community of love and unity where we are all equal and where we will spread the unconditional love of the Father to the world, to all the nations. Jesus is not about religion. When will you understand that? Jesus was spreading the love of the Father in the, into this world. And you have your work to do. You have to take your cross. Taking your cross is work. You are not working for your salvation because you are saved already through faith by grace. But then afterwards you will take your cross and walk into the world and bring as many people to righteousness as possible. So stay away from these channels who promote hatred and promote fears and promote judgments and bigger here and there and take other channels apart and hate the others. Stay away from such people because they are not the holy ones. They are not the saints. They are not the bright. Only go there where you see love, unity, support, sharing, caring, and all in the name of the Father, not, not in your own name. Where you find something like this, you follow, because this is a righteous path, and the only path, the straight path, the narrow path. And is it our path or is it any other path? It doesn't matter as long as it is a straight path. Do not go to the right. Do not go to the left. Do not follow the big talkers on YouTube who proclaim judgment over judgment over judgment. Judgment will be proclaimed and done by the Father, by nobody else. And then before the judgment will fall, the wrath of the Lamb will come, as it is written in the book of Revelation. But it's not your wrath that will fall. You should stay good with your neighbors. Love your neighbor as yourself. That was your commandment. So why are you going forth now and judge the people? Why are you going forth now and bigger and backstep <clears throat> and claim that you do that in the name of the Lord <coughs> when you just satisfy your own greed? and satisfy your own hatred and your own heart of stone. There is no heart in your body when you do that. There is no love of the Father in you when you do that. So stay away from such people. Go there where love is preached. Go there where righteousness is preached in the name of the Father. Go there where you will enter, enter into paradise at the end of your walk. Go there where you can do something actively for the kingdom. And not where you sit in your benches and listen to judgment over judgment over judgment. These preachers, they have no, nothing good at heart and they want to lead you into destruction. Unconditional love is the love of the Father. Do not be deceived by many false teachers. Do not be deceived by many people who proclaim that you have can, that you can sit at home and wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ or that you are automatically be part of the bride you are not 
the Lord will come and send his prophet to you to remind you what is the straight and narrow path. Listen, because if you reject the path and you fall astray, you will receive what is due to you. If you stay on the big ship of the world with all the other religious spirit people and with all the other teachers of false grace of prosperity and poverty, then you will go down with that ship and there will be no rescue. The path is there for you. The door is open. But the path is a path of love, of unity and support, of sharing and caring, of bringing as many people to righteousness as possible, so that at the end you will shine as a stars in heaven. Daniel 12.3 So walk with us that path, the path towards the holy mountain, to Mount Zion, where you will be ruptured into paradise, where you will receive your mansion, that we were promised by Jesus Christ himself. And there you will be with the Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Thank you that you are here with me. Thank you that you walk with me that path. Thank you that you show forth the unconditional love of the Father in your neighborhood through establishing the societies of the Rose. Thank you that you are supporting our ministry of love and righteousness. Thank you that you help us to bring this love and righteousness into the nations that are still under idolatry and under false gods, for example in our mission to Cambodia. There we need your help and many people have already come forward and I thank you that you also come with your donation to help us so that we can do it. All the links in, you will find in the description box below. Be ready to walk out of the world in Babylon onto the path of love, unity and righteousness towards Mount Zion. Thank you that you are here for this topic today and I hope you will join me again for the next topic tomorrow. I love you so dearly. Please walk with me towards paradise. Watch all our series, our daily prophetic words and our mini-series at Patreon. Please support us in any way you can. All the information are down below. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Michael Maranatha.